Greetings, YouTube. This is Yvette, and welcome to our channel where we are always fasting sometime during the month. We are seeking God to walk in the calling that He has for us. We want to take our place in God's kingdom as kings and priests uh, to have dominion over the earth, have authority over the enemy in the name of Jesus, you guys. This is the channel where we're not playing, you know, Christians or we're not uh, compromising sin and, and letting it be okay. We're walking upright in righteousness before the Lord and praising him and honoring God and giving him glory. We want to be in the supernatural where, you know, we lay hands on the sick and they recover, where we have those promises that Jesus has for us, where we have power from on high so that when you know, we can cast out devils, you know? So if you're new to the channel, subscribe because this is the channel where we're going higher. So we've been in preparation for quite some time and we're seeing some things paying off. And a lot of what goes on on this channel is we come up against attacks on the enemy because he does not want us uh, going higher. He knows when you fast that he's defeated. But here's something else, you guys, I need to share with you. This is the Lord had drop something on me today and it was mind blowing mind blowing so remember we've been doing communion because nikki had um challenged us to do it in the morning and in the evening and as i've been doing um communion the lord's been pulling things out of me and saying hey this got to come out that got to come out for you if you want to have a relationship with me that you got to get you know self out the way so the challenge or the, what he has me going, working on right now is that I have to suffer persecution. And I knew this to, to be more like Jesus, but it was the communion. So as I'm talking to Nikki today and she's um, talking about how the Lord died for us and he gave himself for us, his body and, um, and, and loved us so much and how the, the blood represents that power and that blood he shed and redeems us. As she's talking about this, how he, he died for you. As she's talking, the Lord is saying to me, Yvette, that is what I want you to do. So remember when the enemy attacked Jesus and killed him, the, the Bible talks about had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord. So the enemy thought he had Jesus. Oh, I got him now. I'm just going to kill him. Then I'll get, be rid of him for once and for all. But that was the key. The shed blood, him giving himself a sacrifice for us was the key that defeated the enemy. Defeated him and put us back in our rightful place and gave, back, gave us back the kingdom of God. And so what he's doing to us now is he's attacking us, not knowing. Now, here's what the Lord showed me. That just like Jesus died for our sins, gave his body for us, as we take communion, we are also dying. We are also, the flesh is dying. I mean, not necessarily like he's dead, going to be in the grave, but making the flesh weak. So as the enemy is attacking us, that persecution and us learning how to respond in love, as soon as we kill flesh, we have victory just like Jesus gave us. So what's hindering us is the flesh, okay? So listen, I when I learned this, and, and the Lord had been dealing with me about this on Friday night, and it just came home on today when I was finally talking to her, and I'm listening to her, her talk, and I'm like, that's what it is. I gotta, I'm taking Jesus, I'm taking on every part of him, and we are to be like him. And so, um, as I'm pondering that and, 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 and what the Lord showed me, I'm seeing you guys where he's taken us to the next place. He's taken us higher and he really is responding to what we are asking him. And I know that on this channel, a lot of you have reported that you've been under attack, severe attack. Uh, Tamara called me and said that um, they ran her out of the church, a church that does not take communion a church that does not speak in tongues. I'm surprised. I mean, they, I mean, the Holy Spirit is not welcome there and they pushed her out. And I'm like, Tamara, you don't need to be there anyway. So um, look for a messianic congregation or somewhere where you can learn the Torah. And I was in your organization at one time and I know how those people are. And it's a whole organization of them. 
that do the same thing. I mean, most of them take communion, but there's nothing wrong with you taking communion by yourself in the morning and in the evening. And I'm telling you, God is going to take you higher. But what I want you to do is count it all joy when you go into these, 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 these diverse tests. Um, because the trying of your faith works patience, like James said, when it and, and perfects you, okay, so that you can trust in the Lord. So listen, after I heard this, I was like, bring on persecution. I will take it. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm ready now. My mind is ready. You know, I'm ready to face this because I know what's going to happen on the end. I know what it's about. The Lord has revealed that to me. And so just having that and having that, 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 that understanding, I feel so blessed. So you guys listen, when people start talking about you, your friends turn their back on you, just trust that you got to go through this by yourself because you're in the wilderness and God is taking us and he's shaping us and he's making us what he wants us to be. He's forming us. You guys enjoy it because the Lord is with us and let's show him now that we know what's going on and that it's the enemy attack and not knowing that you're attacking the body and we get ready to bring that into subjection and we need you to do it anyway now that these demons you know are are are, are after us let's embrace it you guys and bless god every time bless him bless him bless him because victory is ours so we've already won but now you just got to pass your test okay so this is the kind of thing where well like they would, he would tell, God would tell the children of Israel, go and fight so-and-so, but you're going to be victorious. So, because you're, you're going to win. So just go fight them and everything will be fine. How you go into a battle and you're going to win, you don't even need that many people. You're going to win. Why would you not do the battle? Go ahead and do it. You're going to have the victory. Same thing with us. We're going to have the victory. So let's just go through it. Go through it. Let people talk about you. Let them talk about you. Put it this way. If, um, if somebody's going to give you a million dollars, I'll give you a million dollars if you let five people call you names, if you can make it through five people talking about you behind your back. Would you go through the five people talking about you behind your back? Of course you would, because you got a million dollars sitting on the end of it. Same thing with us. Victory is sitting on the other end. And let me tell you something. God is way gives us way more than a million dollars. Now, you may not have it in your hand, because you don't need it. God just needs to take care of your, your daily provision. So the point I'm making, you guys, we are so close. We are so close to, 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 to what God has for us. Don't give up now. So I know some of you guys are like, you know, I just ate because I just got tired of the, you know, the enemy attacking me. As soon as I started fasting, attack started. Listen, that's where the blessing's at. That's the point you want to be at. <clears throat> and I praise the Lord. I thank God so much, you guys. If you could see it, so just trust me, trust me, take the persecution. Don't react to it. Let the flesh suffer like Jesus did. Let's show God because the Bible, he tells us all the time that, you know, if you suffer for righteousness, uh, he's going to bless us, you know, so let's do it that way. Let's do it his way. I'm excited to receive from the Lord. I'm going to sign off because I am getting, I am so tired, you guys. Also, I wanted to let you know fall feasts are coming up. The first one is September 29th, and we are also starting the 40 days of atonement that leads up, leads uh, 40 days of repentance, which leads us up to the day of atonement. And that's Yom Kippur, Kippur and that's one of those appointed times that the Lord meets with his people. So we want to gear up for that. And this uh, it was about the time where Moses went up to the mountain, remember, and he for 40 days repented for the people's sins. And so we're going to start repenting for our sins and cleansing ourselves over a 40 day period to be able to be in line with that feast. And you guys know when we do the feast, God meets his people at that time. So those are special times of blessings. So if you're new to the channel, I'm going to tell you subscribe and I apologize for all the misspeakings that I have, but it is so late here and i um, having some difficulty with my internet. So I can't even upload this as I um, make the video. So, but I so wanted to share with you what God is giving us. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe because you guys, we going higher. This is a channel that does not play. This is a channel that is very blessed. And yes, the enemy comes against us, but when he comes against you, 
that means you're doing something right. You shaking up the enemy's kingdom and you letting go of them strongholds that he has on you. Okay? So blessings to you guys. We got this. We have this. We can do this. Together we can do this. And I know if you have to talk to me, uh, shoot me a um, your email in the comment sec section and I'll send you my phone number so that we can chit chat if you ever want to talk, you guys. I don't mind. I don't mind. I um, tease and tell my daughter, oh, I got X amount of friends, <laughs> you know, talking to her about uh, the channel. I, I ain't sweating that, you know, it's the holiday. I don't mind ministering over the holiday. It's my plan to clean my room and do some uh, work out in the house because we are in the middle of a remodel. And so, but I bless the Lord, you guys. I would not trade my life for anything. If somebody came up to me to give me a million dollars, don't you keep your little million dollars. I don't want your stuff. I will take what God has for me. I will take what God has for me. Because what man will give you is temporary, but what God has for us is eternal. Eternal. And I bless him. Okay? Blessings to you guys. You're in my prayers. And let's pray for everybody on the channel. Lord, bless everyone out there. Bless them, bless them, bless them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.